Bismillah uh, We were looking at uh, Imam Razi's uh, tafsir on a part of his tafsir uh, on Ayah 35, uh, 34, 35 in Surah Yunus. And basically, what we looked at last time was his. Um, Um, his claim that um, it's not really a claim, but his uh, what, what what should I say? He's mentioned that, uh, or he's noticed that uh, in Quran Al Azim. Um, it is uh, a pattern uh, without exception that whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala argues in Al-Quran Al-Azim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala argues from the act of creation to the existence of the creator he at the same times argues from the act of uh, from the act of um, guidance or the need of guidance to the existence of a guide so these are two vertical Inferences, which uh, Imam Razi says that in the Quran of Azim they occur side by side in the same, in tandem, in conjunction. Whenever Allah Subhanahu wa Taala argues from the act of creation to the cre- existence of Creator, He also argues from the need of guidance to the existence of God and this is something what Imam Razi says عَادَةٌ مُطَّرِدَةٌ فِي الْقُرْآنَ الْعَظِيمِ عَادَةٌ مُطَّرِدَةٌ is a rule or pattern which has no exception and then he gives three um, examples from Al-Quran Al-Azim the first one was from Surah Al-Shu'ara uh, Ayah 78 uh, where Ibrahim salam says, "Alladhi khalaqani fa wa yahdini, Alladhi khalaqani fa wa yahdin, um, he has created me. So he is the one who also guides me. So he has mentions creation and then mentions Hidayah, the guidance. And then the second example he gives is that of Abu Musa alayhi salam." Uh, and that is, I think, from Surah Al-Shu'ara. Uh, no, that's from Surah Taha. I think Surah Taha, where Musa uh, says, uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala quotes Musa salam in the Quran Azim, Surah Taha. Rabbun Alladhi Aata Kulla Shayin Khalkahu Summahada. Our Our Lord is the one who gives creation to everything and then he guides them he doesn't leave them so the, he doesn't leave just abandon them like a you know day stick um, clockmaker god who creates the conception of a clockmaker god who creates the creates the um, creation and then it leaves it on its own or automates it but it's a, it's a, it's a, a God who not only creates uh, but also guides constantly because it's, and continuously. And the third um, example Imam Razi gives is of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where Al Quran Al Azim uh, in, and that is in Surah Al Ala commands him so chant the name of your Chris uh, chant the praise of the name of your 
High Lord, your Lord the High, who created for Sabwa and who Kaddara Fahada and he got so creation and guidance are also mentioned here in tandem in conjunction. So that was Imam Razi's uh, point. Uh, and I sort of added a bit, uh, which Imam Radhi doesn't mention here. Um, um, so Imam Razi says that for Sky the Muttarida is that God, whenever he talks about guidance, oh sorry, creation, he also talks about guidance. I think that's not his exact point because he, what he's saying is whenever he infer or argue for the existence of the creator from creation he also infer or argue for the existence of God from the need to guidance so these are both vertical um, inferences but I also think that uh, something at least uh, Imam Razi doesn't mention here is that in Quran al azim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala implicitly or explicitly horizontally infer from the act of creation to the need of guidance. And from the need of guidance, obviously, so then the need of God is employed in there. So it's not just to uh, vertical inferences, but also a horizontal inference. And this horizontal inference is uh, related to these vertical vertical inferences. And in in this ayah. In these two ayah as well, so three example he gave in this two ayahs, uh, three two ayahs as well. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala first talks about um, creation. Yabdul Khulka Sumay Yudu Kulla Yabdul Khulka Sumay Yudu Fana Tofakun and goes on to talk about Kul Hal Min Shuraka Min Yahdi Ila Lakhi. So start with creation and then goes on in the next ayah uh, to guidance uh, and Imam Radhi here mentions uh, 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 now he's mentioning here uh, Surah Yunus um, uh, which is the ayah 34 uh, Atba'ahu, he followed it by Bidalil al Hidayah, followed by uh, an argument for the guidance in this ayah, that is the ayah 35. But um, so we had stopped here, wa fi fil haqiqa de Dalil Sharif, and then uh, Imam Ghazali, uh, not Imam Ghazali, Imam Razi. Uh, goes on to make another point which is his specific angle and I would have a bit of uh, you know contention with this but uh, let us let's understand this first uh, he says that human beings are uh, they are compound creatures they are compound creatures they are con constituted uh, uh, with the combination of a body and a soul. So, Lenal Insana, Lenal Insana, Lahu Jasad, Walahu Ruh, Falistidlalu, Ala Wujudi Sani, Eh, Be Ahwal il Jasadi, Huwal Khalku. وَالْإِسْتِدْلَالُ بِأَحْوَالِ الرُّوحِ هُوَ الْهِدَايَةُ فَهَا هُنَا أَيْدًا لَمَّا ذَكَرَ دَلِيلَ الْخَلْقِ Okay, so 
here Imam Radi is saying that uh, now he's trying to sort of give a rationale for what he has said before about uh, the, the two vertical inferences and here he said that uh, it's a noble argument because human beings are created by God from two elements so they are compound creatures one is their body and the other is their soul so <clears throat> وفي الحقيقة دليل شريف لأن الإنسان له جسد إنسان هذا بودي سيد الجسد want to take time to ponder on this جسد and إنسان has human being have roof men and women every human being has and <clears throat> human beings um, so there are body needs of body i guess yeah and there are functions of bodies and there are needs of needs of your soul and then I guess there are functions of your soul etc we can just think about these things ad infinitum but that's uh, Imam Ghazali, that's how it is. وَهُوَ فِي الْحَقِيقَةِ دَ دَلِيلٌ شَرِيفٌ لِأَنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَهُ جَسَدْ وَلَهُ رُوحٌ Now he says, فَالْإِسْتِدْلَالُ وَلَا وُجُودِ السَّانِ بِحَوَالِ الْجَسَدِ وَهُوَ الْخَلْقِ وَالْإِسْتِدْلَالُ بِحَوَالِ الْرُوحِ هُوَ الْهِدَاهَةُ فَهُنَا أَيْدٍ لَمَّا ذَكَرَ دَلِيلَ الْخَلْقِ فِي الْآيَةِ So what he's saying is what he's saying is fal istidlal ala wujud as-sani bi hawal jasad hu al khalq so the inference from the conditions and the conditions of the body and what bodies goes through and its being of the body to the existence of the creator that is the realm of creation so to speak so in that sense as I'll come to it in a minute in the realm of creation so the so the inference from the existence for the existence of uh, creator from creation is from the body and its uh, whereabouts and its conditions and its uh, states um, because body is the realm of creation on the other hand and as far as the guidance is concerned, that guidance, the argument uh, about guidance and the need of guidance to the need of the guide, that is the realm of the soul because guidance is related to the soul. And that's why when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, um, mentioned in first ayah he mentioned the body and in the second ayah he mentioned uh, 
the soul in a sense uh, because in the first ayah he mentioned resurrection of body when he talked about the creation uh, and in the second ayah he mentions guidance and mention truth and all those things so from that uh, imam radi inferred that the realm of the body is the realm of creation and the realm of the um soul lives the realm of guidance and from there he as we will go and see in the next paragraph he makes a whole uh, new establish try to try to establish a whole new hierarchy where you know a body is created um, for the guidance of the of the soul so so the creation of body is you know totally instrumental and subservient that of soul so so that's that's what uh, he's saying in a in a nutshell in this but let us look at it a bit more closely so this is uh, clear this so he's saying that lena lintan lahu jasad wa lahu ruh fal istidlal ala wujud as-sani bi ahwal al-jasad so body and its states yeah these are the realm of creation that's the realm of creation realm and i think he he drives sorry he inferred this that the body is the realm of creation um from the fact that um in ayah 34 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ایسوسیٹن recreates in the sense and when things are destroyed then so it's sort of a uh, allusion to resurrection and then it mentioned tell them allah yabdul khalq allah is the one only one who starts the creation and summa yuidu and when people are dead when the creation when the things are destroyed he bring them to their previous situation so from this uh, imam razi seems to be because um, yabdul khalq um, in quran it, it's not man is it's not saying body it's just talking about creation in general and uh, i think the inference is from because since the ruh doesn't is not destroyed it seems to think that it's not a khalq um Uh, in a sense if it is actually uh, amr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then obviously it's not haq khalq but if it is min amr rabbi then that's a different uh, interpretation so imam ghazali is saying body and its states are the realm of creation so that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, argument فَالِسْتِلَالُ وَلَا وَجُودِ السَّنْ Argument for the existence of the creator that is وَجُودُ السَّانِعِ The argument for وَجُودُ السَّانِعِ is from the states of body and by states of body 
he is seemingly alluding to what is said in Ayah 34 that he starts the creation and then resurrect those things which when they are dead. So those are uh, the start of creation and uh, destruction and resurrections are states of body. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is arguing from the states of body to the existence of the creator. Okay. And similarly, similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is well, it's like the soul and its states, ahwal, yeah, or ruh, and its ahwal. These are the realms of guidance. These are not the realm of creation. Seeming, that's what seems like. I might be wrong. That is the creation. That is God. So he, when he, um, when he argues for, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala argues for, from the need of guidance to the existence of the God, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, he argues from the ahwal of ruh, ahwal uh, states of soul, because that's the realm of that's the realm of God. So from the ahwal of the ruh, he uh, infer uh, the need of the God, because the states of ruh are that states through its. I mean, sorry, the soul state the soul through its states, through its ahwal, through its thirst for the through his longing for the truth shows the need for guidance and that he seemingly infer from the ayah 35 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say kul hal min shuraka just a minute five kul hal min shuraka shuraka ikum min yahd min yahdi ilal haq are there among you among those who you associate with God are those or anyone who can guide to the truth. And here Imam Razi seems to think that the search for truth and the perception of truth belong to soul, not, not to the body. Uh, and that's why he is saying that uh, the argument for the guide to the guy uh, from guidance to the guide that belongs to the soul because guidance belongs to the soul, uh, realm of the soul. Okay, so um, what what he is saying is well, it's the lal be hawale ruhi wale da fauna adam lama zakara dalil al khalk fil ayaula. That was uh, and uh, so it's the soul. It's the soul. which long for the truth in the next um, paragraph you'll make it clear long for the truth al-haq which is in this ayah and that's why this longing for truth is basically uh, a need for guidance but we can't get to the ultimate truth on, on our own, so we need a God. So, the, and if Al Haq belong, this longing for Al Haq is the state of the soul, then guidance belongs to the soul. So, from the state of the soul, we find the need for guidance, and from there, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala argue for the existence of a Guide. So this is uh, Imam, Ghaza, Imam Razi's, uh, so Razi's argument here. Uh, I, I try to basically understand it and explain it. And by explaining, I was able to understand a bit more than I had when I started. And that's one of the purposes of making really 
uh, of this session. <laughs> uh, um, so, so, to, to clear my own understanding, basically, first. And if somebody else can, be, you know, uh, find these useful, that's even, uh, you know, that's an added uh, benefit. So, I'm going to stop here, just going back to read the text before we finish, but I'm going to stop here and the next time probably I'll uh, sort of re repeat it and try to develop an initial critique and then we'll move to the next uh, paragraph or maybe we would have to do the next paragraph first uh, before developing some sort of critique uh, which, you know, I have a vague idea of what I find a bit unconvincing in here, uh, but we'll see, inshallah. Basically what we have done is the first paragraph only. And we started from Aya, uh, Aya, Aya 34, so uh, love, yes, last time we, we, um, we sort of uh, read the Aya in translation as well. So, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم كل هل من شركائكم شركائكم من يبدأ الخلق ثم يعيده ثم يعيده كل الله يبدأ الخلق ثم يعيده فأنا تؤفكون and then the next ayah كل هل من شركائكم من يهدي من يهدي للحق كل الله يهدي للحق كل الله يهدي للحق فمن يهدي للحق أحق إن يتبع إن يتبع من لا من لا يه من لا يهدي إلا إن يهدى فما لكم كيف تحكمون أن we did this paragraph. المسألة الأولى علما أن هذا هو الهجة الثالثة. وعلم أن الاستدلال على وجود الصانع بالخلق أولا ثم بالهداية الثانية عادة مطردة في القرآن في القرآن العظيم. فهكا تعالى فهكا تعالى عن الخ فهكا تعالى عن الخليل عليه السلام وعلى نبينا أنه ذكر ذلك فقال الذي خلقني فهو يهدين الشعراء وأن موسى عليه السلام أنه ذكر ذلك فقال ربنا الذي أعطى كل شيء خلقه خلقه ثم هدى درس سورتها وأمر محمدا صلى الله على صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم بذلك فقال سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي أعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي قدر فهدى سورة الأعلى فاس تو ثري آيات وهو في الحقيقة دليل شريف لأن الإنسان له جسد وله روح هو جسد وله روح فالاستدلال ولا وجود الصانع بأحوال الجسد هو الخلق والاستدلال بأحوال الروح هو الهداية هو الهداية هو الهداية فهنا أيضا لما ذكر دليل الخلق في الآية الأولى that is آية 34 أتبعه followed it by بدليل الهداية في هذه الآية that is آية number 35 so that's what uh, we have done so far and I think uh, it was uh, at least for, for very fruitful for me. Uh, so next time, inshallah, we will look at وَعَلَمَنَ الْمَقْصُودَ مِنْ خَلَقِ الْجَسْدِ حُسُولُ الْهِدَايَةِ لِلْرُوحِ So we will look at that.